Good morning! It is another day of shooting interviews, another day of lighting, and makeup, and YouTubers, and beauty. We never told you guys, but this is a documentary on YouTube beauty gurus. And this is Lamar. I'm the star beauty guru. <laughs> he has over a million subscribers on his beauty channel. I look amazing. <laughs> what's uh, going on, man? What's up, baby? I'm excited to be Good working to with you. Dude, this is awesome. Um, thank you for being in it. If you guys don't know Lamar, he does tech vlogging. Is that fair to say? I think it's fair to say. Cool. Yeah. And so here's our setup. And here's the cameras. And there's Corrado without a beard, still. <laughs> and there's there's Sam. And, the and other people are running around doing other things. I didn't realize you had so much equipment that was required to, <laughs> to make this happen. People don't really expect it from us. I'm like, Lamar, can we interview you for the documentary? He goes, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So then we show up in like our big The Avenger truck <laughs> and unload like, you know, a bunch of C stands and cameras and grip and baby stands and how many lights? <laughs> too many. Too, too many lights. Basically, we just unload a whole van into an apartment. Yeah. yeah. That's what we do. And then we apply makeup. That's my favorite part. You look good. It's hard because these lights are so bright and so wide that they make everybody shine. Mm -hmm. But not shine like, I mean, like, I know, Lamar, I, I know you're going to shine. I'm going to shine in this, in this movie. If you have sure. healthy skin, it's supposed to shine in a bright light. Oh. So what does that so mean? That's why it just to, doesn't look very good. That's why, that, that's why I require so much more work, because this skin is just like, oh. <laughs> Radiant. <laughs> and also because your skin is... Go ahead, say it. A darker pigmentation. <laughs> Just a, just a slightly mocha. <laughs> Rena, were you prepared for this? Like, I don't want to be racist, but that's a different color. Well, actually, we were supposed to be prepared for it, but the, the Mac store that we are getting the makeup from was out of the deep palette that I needed, so we had to go run and get it before oh. we came here. Well, but it was worth it. it. All wor yeah, it was worth it. And I'm keeping this on for my video now, so <laughs> good. I want to be gorgeous in my own video. <laughs> You're gorgeous awesome. in all your videos. Oh, thank you. You want to be a little louder there, paper girl? <laughs> You're loud. I'm the loudest. Next to Joel. How do you feel having been interviewed? It was the most amazing experience. Like, you, you are a good interviewer. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm serious. Oh, thank it, it you. Was, it was like, I feel like I was talking to a friend because I was. We are friends. <laughs> exactly. Let's get in the same shot. We just did some inter interviewee stuff. This is my buddy right here. We're brothers. Yeah, yeah. We look exactly, exactly like. But yeah, my, my Canadian brother. <laughs> no, it was it was amazing. I, I'm I hope I get in the film and and you will be okay. Everybody will be in it like a little bit. Excellent. Uh, I mean, it depends on how many people we interview. We can, you know we're gonna interview like 50 people and yeah. put it in like a 90 minute movie. Yeah. So it's less than a minute per person. Okay. So I, I may have knocked it out of the park. I don't know. I heard <laughs> I, really I heard good. I was amazing. Yeah. So. We tell that to everyone. <laughs> Which I'm sure you suspected. <laughs> no, you did really good. Good job, Thanks, man. man. Thank you. Okay, so now we are in the home of Mr. Tay Zonde. You seem to be reading YouTube I, comments. I'm reading YouTube comments, let me tell you. Why are you doing that? Um, I don't know. I just I read the comments for about the first couple hours after I post a video. Maybe a day or two. Did you post a video today? I posted a video today. Can you tell me about the video that you posted today? Um, I posted myself singing 16 tons which is an old song that I'm not sure how popular it'll be, but I think I did a good job on it. Um, Sweet. I wish every video I did could be, like, massively popular, though. <laughs> Do you ever wish that a video is not massively popular? Is that like a... Um, I guess, you know, if, if it was a, a porn video or something. But, um, <laughs> this is a pretty cool place. Where are we? In the room I work in. There's no good place for me to stand to like film you and then even when I film you it's like a documentary like you and I aren't oh. in a shot together or anything oh. wait I have an idea Sam can you can you comfortably hold this comfortably ladies and gentlemen we interviewed Taze on day for I'm vlogging here there you go today mm -hmm. it was fun good did you enjoy it I did enjoy it to the extent that I enjoy being Taze on day what does that mean um I don't know I, f I feel like even for something like this I am struggling with Am I Tezande in a context like this, or am I just me unvarnished? And What's I'm the not, difference? Uh, I'm Corey Vidal on and off camera. You know, but I think me, me unvarnished is, uh, I'd probably have done this interview in my pajamas. Um, we should have done this interview in your pajamas. <laughs> I don't know that I like being cleaned up. 
Anatomy. Well, we shouldn't. Have, we never asked you to clean up. You cleaned yourself up. Well, because that's what you do—to be on camera and be so, on interviews. No, well, I, I haven't showered or shaved in yeah, weeks. Yeah, but I don't know. Here's the thing: I, <laughs> I did the safest thing. I just don't know if it felt like the most me thing. And it goes back to what Corey always says: "It's like, well, if you don't like your brand, change it." Well, I don't know. I, I, I like playing it safe too, but I don't. Playing it safe don't, is not don't, always. Don't play it safe. I feel like when I look at my old videos, Corey, you know, uh, especially with the ones I did in Minneapolis before I had any sense of being in LA, and, uh, you know, people just, uh, people expect you to be who you've been before. And why don't I vlog? And why am I not really an active vlogger? Uh, just ask the same question twice. Um, it's looking for that me that feels real and that feels authentic and that is. Unvarnished, and it's funny. I have a Tavox vlog, in which I am with Shay, and you know, people who see me accidentally going into glimmers of being a little bit more real and unvarnished, they're like, "Gosh, Shay, you should do that all the time. You should you do should. crazy characters. You know, you just you act drunk all the time. You got to do a crazy character that's gonna play around." With it. And that's because you're more. having fun and, and you're relaxing. Like, Yes, Don't be afraid to embarrass yourself. I embarrass yeah. myself all the time. Oh my goodness. I started vlogging January 1st, 2011, mm -hmm. because two months before then, Shay Carl and Wheezy Waiter came to my house for a week. Mm -hmm. And we shot a video called Santa vs. Santa. Yeah, and, I remember that and video. And Craig was in my house for seven days. I think Shay was in my house for four or five. Mm -hmm. And they both said, you should vlog. Yeah. You know, there's a piece of paper there on the floor. It says something. Content creates the person you want to be. This is what Lamar tells me, who you interviewed earlier today. Uh, when I have anxiety of, gosh, I don't know who should I be? What what am I doing? Will people love it? Will people hate it? You know, the value of vlogging and, and just honestly putting yourself out there. Um, you know, it's like if you are fearful about who you are or how you'll be perceived, if you have apprehension about who you might become if you're real. Somehow, vlogging and just daily putting yourself out there, um, there is this magical thing that happens where YouTube is a way to become the person who you want to become. And it's YouTube is like this rung to become who you want to be. And maybe Apprentice A, E-H, has been this rung by which you have become the person who you want to be. And maybe that was the actual wisdom and Craig and Shay telling you, you should start vlogging, Corey, because they saw you in this moment of, of struggling like I kind of am right now. And they're like, hey, vlogging is something that allows you to become the person who you want to be and figure that out and sort that out. And that's deep. <laughs> so, so while uh, they were talking, I figured out that there are towels on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, it, uh, this is totally like not deep, but we got the inspiration for the towels in our basement, the sound room that we built in the basement, from from you oh, okay. saying, "Hey." From my explicit yeah. instructions, you should take a staple gun <laughs> yeah. and staple bath towels to your. No, wall. they were they were more specific okay. than that. They were hundred we, percent we, cotton towels. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, because you can't. I like po polyester you. stinks. <laughs> if, you, if you nail it on, I've done it. And, <laughs> Anyways, we filmed Tay for for 84 minutes, which is as long as the cards would let us until oh, we there were we, go. Out, we maxed you out. Yes. So that's just a little sneak peek at some of the depth yes. that the final documentary is going to have in terms of what vlogging is and what yeah. it means and why and blah 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 blah. And you nice. were very enlightening, so thank you. Are you going to formally? Yeah. I've known you for like five years. And now and we're, we're formally handshaking. Where we form a, that, that seals the deal. I don't know what the deal We've is. We've moved from the awkward the hug to the handshake. <laughs> I'm not awkward. I'm the awkward hug. He's, he's hard. He's no, it, awkward. it's ter and I feel embarrassed. It's like <laughs> body odor. I have hug odor in a room. Like people hug me, and they can just be like, "Gosh, Tay, you really are kind of tight and tense, and don't <laughs> have much human interaction." And I'm like. Sorry, it's like my hug odor. I need hug deodorant or like remedial <laughs> hug you glasses. Need, you need more hugs. And like you said me to, to me just now, maybe you should vlog. Yes. I, I would vlog, literally my vlog would be, be in here every single day being like, hey, I'm in here again and I don't know what to talk about. We started our vlogs having no idea what we were gonna talk about. And look at all the stuff we talk about. Yeah. We're on our third year. 
Anyways, Carter needs to shoot some B-roll. Let's shoot some B-roll. Home of the big boy, original double-deck hamburger. Are they calling it like an original burger, or is it the original big boy? The original double-deck Is it the original double-deck? Like they're the first ones to stack two together? Yes, uh, I don't know. They might have been the first ones to market it, or it might be the original big boy. It might be the original big boy, it's right? probably right, the original right big boy. I just there. want you to know that this restaurant was built in uh, 1949. Wow. Um, <laughs> by Cheater! Scott Cheater! Ward <laughs> <laughs> Alberts. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. And okay. Mm. Just all, all the That's top that. Great. Good job. Let's go. So Damn. apparently you have to sit down at this place. Yes. And she, we asked for a table of six, and she brought us all the way down here. Yeah. We're in the very corner. We're hanging out with Sear One Two One Six. Really seductive and emotional, because that's how you make it. That was seductive? I don't think that's... It, it worked! We got him in the video. <laughs> it was like sad, sad seduction. Does that make any sense? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I used to take my shirt off in the vlogs. Oh, yeah, yes. you're that guy! You were the first one to take your shirt off in the vlogs. Yeah, and that was in the vlogs since day, like, two? Uh, you, you were in the very first... So our, our vlogs at first were weekly, and then when we went to film at Google in May of 2011, we switched to daily. That's we why create, we created Apprentice EH. We did, and he was there. Day, I was there when day they came one up with EH. of the daily vlogs, mm -hmm. which was like day mm -hmm. 200 and something. Mm -hmm. So the, the very first video on this Apprentice EH channel, mm. and you were there for the first couple months. Yeah, and people have missed you yep. for a very long time. Yeah, yep. but now lots of them probably don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to let that know. <laughs> and I developed so many aspects of DSLR vlogging. Yeah, you, you did. Know, quick zooms. Yeah, he invented know, that. Uh, <laughs> used used as emphasis for punchlines and stuff during vlogs. That you do. We've we've had we, we've had a, a serious lack of mammoth hits in the vlog. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, we have. Like because that was <laughs> close up. Like Can we get an example? Can we get an example of this? Sure, I'm sure. just gonna take this. Why don't you direct me? Okay, so this and then. Explain, explain what this we're doing. This is what happens. So basically, uh, I need to make sure I'm focused first. So Corey, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you always make me laugh. Okay. I make me laugh. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, I was your dad. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wait, no, wait. I can do better than that. The final catharsis of life is melodramatic, and when we saw what it was you were doing, we took everything from you. <laughs> <laughs> Without the laughing, minus the laughing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, if you get a slight pan while it's happening too, it looks sick because like the depth of field, you know, the DOF gets so intense. Mm. Oh man, that's so sick. I think it's so sick. I already forget that I'm vlogging. I just think I'm straight up like rule third. Mm. We have missed you. We have missed you. Yeah, a lot. I miss me too. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for thank you for being here. I'll be back in the vlogs again. You're gonna right now. <laughs> uh, no, it means after again soon. Good. Yeah, at playlist. You're gonna go to playlist live. Mm -hmm. Tell me something really dramatic that's gonna happen at playlist live. Oh, I didn't want to tell you, but it's gonna be a good time. It's <laughs> <laughs> really weird. Okay, let's get back to work. So aside from hanging out and having good times, we are actually going to light and sit here down and interview him for the documentary because he has a lot of very interesting things to say. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, so we'll see. Are you nervous? Uh, no, not really. You're a liar. Uh, I'm nervous for the film, but I'm not nervous being around you. Why are you nervous for the film? Because I don't want to say something stupid. Oh, so you're nervous for you. Yeah, kind of. I see. I thought you were like nervous that the film was gonna bomb. No, no. <laughs> I'm nervous for the film. <laughs> you know, uh, no, I'm nervous about what I'm gonna say. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna say. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Figure it out together. My name's Tim Deegan. <laughs> you have exactly to add it. more pep. More pep. <laughs> yeah, more pep. Hey guys, hey guys, Tim Deegan. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's closer. pretty good. <laughs> Yours is the more like emo version. Yeah. <laughs> We just wrapped shooting. Well, they just wrapped shooting. Yeah. I kind of just sat there. All I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> yeah, he worked, he worked diligently asleep in his dreams. Yeah. It takes so much work to get set up and the lights, the positioning, all the grip, all of the makeup. And then once we start rolling, everyone just kind of stands around and has to be as quiet as possible. So we, we probably talked for about an hour and a half. 
uh, well, just over an hour. And uh, so then when we cut, I looked, Tim's passed out on the stairs. I look, Rihanna is face down on the floor. <laughs> totally out. And it was, <laughs> it would have been great if, like, after the interview, you go, We no, did. There was, I would have yes. oh. no heard where you someone. Were like, I was like, oh, I have to go wake him up, but... <laughs> well, did you see my neck awesome on the stairs? <laughs> it is worth noting that it just passed 3 a.m. Good. So we started working at 7 a.m. So we worked for, like, 400 hours. So yeah. it was a lot. It was a that lot of work straight. Is a lacking. That is bad. <laughs> so seven a.m. to three a.m. was a long day. So it's uh, it's bedtime. <laughs> but we got three interviews done. So I mean, today we got four, f at least four hours of footage per camera, two cameras. So we got eight hours of footage today. Yeah. Plus the B-roll. Yep. Oh my it's a lot. So I love you, but we're leaving, and we're going to bed. <laughs> Thank you. Go so sleep. we'll see you at uh, see you at Playlist Live. Yeah. Sweet. I'll be in the vlog then. So good. Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. It is 3:30 in the morning. It is time for all of us to go to bed. But before we go to bed, I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow, something very, 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 very exciting is going to happen. Something that we have been working on for. Seven or eight months six or seven or eight months a video Maybe just some video that we have been working on since summer of 2012 Well that video is done and we submitted this song to iTunes a couple weeks ago And it took a really long time to go through on iTunes and it went through today So tomorrow our Justin Bieber parody as long as you like me is going to be going live on the main apprentice a YouTube channel. I will tell you more about it tomorrow with all kinds of amazing news, but for now it is bedtime. So good night. Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside. So don't go away. We're here every day. It's not apprentice A, it's apprentice A. Hey!